Hey everyone, it's me Furby Rocker back at it again with another unboxing video, and today we will be unboxing the brand new Coral 2023 Furby made by Hasbro. Now, a little backstory on this product. Um, I was looking for this Furby for a long time, like a few weeks, maybe even almost a month at this point. And I've been looking in Walmarts and other toy stores to see if I'd ever find one because there's been other people in Canada, in my region, finding them all over the place, and I somehow never was able to find one. And it got pretty bad because I was like, I really want to get this Furby because, you know, they're now back in stores and it's like the whole magic of finding a Furby again in stores and I haven't seen any Furbies in stores since like 2016, I think. And... I was um, in a Walmart, and I was not expecting to find any of them at all, because up until this point, they have never showed up. And I go into the little toy aisle, and I see it at the top of the toy shelves, and my jaw just drops. Now, luckily, um, my loving and amazing boyfriend helped me buy this, because I did not have money on hand the one time they were there. So, uh, uh, big shoutouts to my boyfriend for helping me get this little guy because I am uh, very thankful for that and now I get to actually, you know, unbox a 2023 Furby. But without any further ado, let's actually get into unboxing this little guy. Okay, before we actually go ahead with unboxing this Furby, I want to take a moment to actually look at the, uh, the packaging here. So on the front of the box, you know, you have the color of the Furby and then it says Furby, be my best friend, and then it says like... Hey parents, scan to meet Furby, interactive toy does not connect to the internet, how many batteries, and then plastic-free packaging. Um, and then, so, one downside to this box, it's not very um, easy to open, and it asks you to tear this key off the box to actually open the Furby, and it says, pull here to start, your voice unlocks the ultimate Furby friendship. Now, um... I'm personally not going to be tearing this because I want to actually preserve this box the best that I can. And so uh, one of my friends instructed me on how to, like, go about it without having to rip the box. On this side of the box, it just says Furby includes Furby, string, comb, 12 clip beads, and pizza charm. Now, this is basically just for you to play around with and then at the back we have this girl with the furby of color hey furby um five unique commands unlock ultimate furby friendship and then all the modes and then the little accessories now one little cute detail that i noticed now this is mostly only going to be known by furby fans or people who really know a lot about furbies but at the bottom of the box they included the old tiger electronic logo which i thought was really neat. Um, I didn't actually know that until one of my friends, um, Hannah, pointed that out to me. But now that we got the packaging, you know, all looked at and everything, um, it's time to unbox this little guy, and let's start with that. So, I have my box cutter here, and to the side I have the d batteries and everything that I need for this Furby. So, uh, let's start opening this box. So, due to the complexity of this box, I might actually open this part, just, like, cut this part out of the unboxing where it's just me being able to open this because it would be a bit of a hassle to record myself doing that. So once I get this part undone, I will cut back to the camera and then go from there. So after a lot of struggle, um, I was able to open it. The problem being is that this packaging is really not collector friendly, as one of my friends says, because you have to basically cut very carefully and i tried my best but this box is a bit of a nightmare and unfortunately a lot of the uh this part of it got ripped off and is now stuck here now i don't know if i could somehow glue this back without it looking janky but to be fair you can't really see it and i plan on keeping the box closed anyways for the most part so it, i guess it doesn't matter okay that aside it is now time to open up the Furby, and when you open it up, it will say, keep out Furby and bestie only. Knock knock, who's there? Pull here. And then you'll have the this really cute kind of like Furby themed box. Like, obviously it's going to be Furby themed, but like, you know. So let's pull here. 
Okay, I see them. I see them in there. They are very soft looking, but yeah, let's pull them out. Okay, I shall be pulling them out now. Now, I am very excited to do this. Okay, oh yeah. The box actually unfolds, but, um... Oh... My gosh, look at them! Oh my god! Okay, let me just put the back of the box in the background, but oh my gosh, look at them! They are so cute! Now, a lot of people actually had mixed opinions about this Furby because unlike past generations, this one actually doesn't have a, um, a moving beak anymore. The lack of moving beak has definitely put a lot of people off, but they are, they are extraordinarily soft. And the nice thing is, is that they brought back the amazing eyelashes, and then on the box here it says, Hey Bestie, and then the rest of the box is just sort of the design and everything. Now, I'm gonna put them aside, but the background of the box has, like, you know, cute theme stuff. There's this 90s Furby in the background, and a lot of... It's just supposed to look like a little bedroom scene thing, which I think is honestly very cute, and honestly makes a really good, like, backdrop if you're trying to, uh, I guess, unbox your new little friend. I apologize for all the camera angle confusion and or constant moving, but I'm trying to make this actually look decent. And I apologize for my voice in advance, it's a bit raspy today. Anywho, that aside, let's open this Furby. Now, on the bottom of the box, there's some really cute illustrations that says, get those batteries, or I'm sorry, got those batteries and a screwdriver? Get Furby out of here. And then it has really cute um new artwork of the new furby and that's really cute um also another thing is the design now i really like their design i'm gonna be honest i don't like the fact that they don't have a moving beak but other than that i really like their design they're very round and friend shaped and they've got really interesting ear like patterns on the sides and their fur is also like ridiculously soft but anyways, that aside, it is time to open them. So I'm not entirely sure how to do this, but I'm going to assume that I just have to... Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we just have to pull these tabs a little bit. And I'm trying to, you know, preserve this box as much as I can, obviously. So I'm going to be gentle. Um, so this is the bottom of the Furby. And there's actually more illustrations and artwork there at the bottom and um so the bottom of the furby is actually really interesting because they have furby written on the battery compartment lid which i find honestly like a really cute detail now i'm seeing this little green bag and i'm like 99 yeah these are the um the little pizza charms and or like the little snack bracelet thing the pizza charm and the just general bracelet stuff and then this is the you know the manual but i'm not going to really go through this all because it's just how to get your furby to work dance party and all that stuff and it's just basically like how your furby works anyway it is time for me to now unbox this furby or well take it out of the box as it's so rightfully claims to want to be done to it at the bottom of the box. So you just have to unscrew this and boom. Um, so before we continue, I just want to point out the battery compartment is very interestingly designed. I've never seen a Furby like this. Now, unlike every other past Furby, this one has one double A at the way bottom and then three going diagonally or like on top of it. Um, usually it's been two and then two at the top and sometimes just, like, four, like, straight along the whole battery compartment, but this is, like, the first one of its type. And here's a cl closer look at the lid. It basically just says Furby and then all the, like, the patenting and all that stuff. So I think it's time to turn on the new Furby. Okay, so for this, I brought the best AA batteries that I had. And I'm going to now insert them 
and hopefully get this little guy to work now. I am excited, but I'm also nervous at the same time because, you know, this is the first time I've ever messed one with these. And uh, I'm about to insert the last battery. All right, here we go. <gasps> they're alive. Okay, so their little heart gem thing is now glowing. And that's another interesting thing. They actually made this a heart like the original prototype 1998 Furbies had. And um, I find that honestly really interesting and cute. Okay, let's push the heart gem. Try the heart gem thing. Hey, Furby! Oh, Furby, hear you! Now we best friends forever! That's so cute. Okay, bestie, let's play! Press heart gem and say, Hey, Furby! Hey, Furby! Now say, Dance party! Dance party! Well that, well, that was something. Uh, I don't want another song, <laughs> but that was really cute. That was very, very cute. Aw, party over, Nula. Yeah. But they are really cute. Um, I'm really loving their uh, lack of fart jokes um, like the Connects had. They do have some more voices, though, but that is very interesting. I do like the fact that they brought back the voice commands, but yes. The one, again, downside to this fact is the fact that, you know, there's no, um, there's no moving mouth, but they did also bring back the non-LCD eyes on this model, and it's very, very nice because the screen eyes were a big complaint for such a long time. I don't know if you can even hear me over this little guy. Let me try and put them to sleep. Wait, further? I thought, how do you turn this little guy off? Okay, unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to turn them off, but I do like the fact that they brought back the non-LCD eyes. That's something that I never really liked about the, um, the more modern Furbies. Another thing I like is the return of the eyelashes, and their overall design is actually really, really cute. And honestly, to any Furby collector who likes Furbies, I would really recommend getting one of these, they are really fun. Now, that's about it for the actual unboxing part, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will probably end up leaving some clips at the end just showing like him dancing and being silly and stuff like that, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye bye
Eggs from Freddy's Spudzers. <laughs>